when I was 18 years old, I was in a grocery store parking lot and a nun approached me and told me that I had a gift and that I had a servant's heart. And at 18, I had no idea what a servant's heart meant. I had no idea what she was talking about. I even thought at that time that it was, you know, a little offensive. I didn't want to be served. But as I got older, I realized what she meant by a servant's heart and that she saw my purpose and my calling before I could see it. I think my higher calling is to create, of course, um, and also to inspire. I feel like my higher calling in life is just to, I don't know, to create. And I think it's actually, you know, not choice or chance any way that like Mo has been put in my life and that we create together. You know, I think it's that. I think it's like an intentional connection. I think everything I do in life like has revolved around my creativity as far as just the things that I'm passionate about and the things that really bring me joy to do. My high calling in life is to help people by helping myself. I believe in myself, I believe in a high power, and I just want to let other people understand that there's a high power and we can do anything that we want to do, we connect to the high power. Like what I what I feel like is my purpose is to cook. It's one of the greatest joys that I've ever had and uh, it brings me a lot of, it brings a lot of happiness to me to serve other people. I feel like my purpose in life is to inspire when I express myself or tell people about myself, about my past and where I am now. It's an inspiration to let them know that, you know, a lot of dark things can happen, but there is still light in the future and where you are now, as long as you look forward to it. My calling in life uh, was my family, to have a family, to protect them, to uh, do for them. And uh, as a young man, I went in the service and uh, fought for my country in the Vietnam conflict. I think I was put on this earth to be the best person that I could possibly be, to be the best mother that I could possibly be teach my children values of love and understanding and commitments and hard work. In life, what I would like to leave behind is just that compassion for others is the key to happiness. My higher calling was to meet the people I met, do the things I did, and it's all setting me up for like something greater in life, something bigger. And I know I'm here to follow that creative energy pretty much wherever it goes because it has taken me in different directions that were like unexpected so I think it's just like um just living in that creativity. Me having to take the necessary steps in order to get where I need to go and then I could do things for family, do things for friends, you know, and at the same time do for myself and just, you know, leave a mark on the world like so that they could remember what we did and know that it was just, yeah, it was just something great, something epic, man. And that, that sort of giving attitude, I think, is what I've always been remembered by. Like, I'm a very selfless person. I love to, I love to give all of me to make sure that my fellow man is, is doing well. Whatever you may call it, some people may call it Jesus, Allah, whatever you call it for yourself, just connect to that. And that's what I want to do, just help people connect the dots in life. As a grandmother, I want to instill these values in my grandchildren as much as I can. Because you need love in your life, you need honesty, and you need purpose. Going against what the norm would be considered, you know, just like making my own path, and also inspiring others to do the same, because it's really, for anybody to do, life is not about certain things that have to be done like you can make your own path you can have your own higher calling so i think that's my higher calling is to create and to inspire i think that is kind of my purpose just to be ready for anything i think if i'm doing something provoking in a healthy way i don't need to be modest i need to do what i should do for 
the, the help of the community. That would be my higher calling, just to be an inspiration and to always just be who I am. And I realized that there is no other person like me. And to try and conform or to change something as perfect as what the Most High has established as you is just it's weird. And you shouldn't. I'm happy now because I see my kids all grown. They done for themselves. They they happy. They have kids. Kids are happy. They healthy. So this is what I want. And uh, of course, my animals. I love animals. I hunted at one time. I killed them at one time. Not anymore. I protect them and uh, enjoy enjoy them. I'll keep on doing what I'm doing, not hurting anyone, doing do to others what I would like them doing to me. And that's me. Simple, dumb and dumb. We're all in this together and we have to look out for each other. And I think that's my higher calling is just to be a creative and to do it with the people I love. <laughs>